Serial Experiments Lane, or SEO for short, is a complex anime that may leave some viewers scratching their heads upon first viewing. It weaves together and explores many different themes, providing thought-provoking moments and a commentary on technology and society in particular. It's easy to miss or not pick up on certain elements the first or even second time around, so allow me to explain why the series is so fantastic and why it's still held in high regards by fans today, despite being released more than 20 years ago. So, here's why you should re-watch Serial Experiments Lane. Before we begin, if you've never even watched SEL before, I highly recommend you go and watch it before viewing the rest of this video. I'll provide a brief overview of the series first, but then I will be delving into spoiler territory by discussing themes and interpretations of events. The anime is an incredible experience even if you're aware of the story beforehand, and of course I'm recommending re-watching it here, but if you want to go into it totally blind then this is your fair warning. Maybe come back to this analysis after your first viewing and then you can re-watch Lane with a new perspective. The series is only 13 episodes long and is five and a quarter hours of watch time in total. With that said, let's get into it. Serial Experiments Lane first aired on Japanese TV between July and September of 1998. Its plot centers around main character Lane Iwakura, who is an adolescent middle school girl. Lane is introduced to The Wired, a global communications network that's like a super advanced version of the internet. Gradually, through a series of strange incidents, Lane becomes increasingly immersed in The Wired, and the boundaries between her physical and digital worlds become more and more blurred. The series has been prayed for its exploration of heavy themes such as consciousness, perception, communication, and the nature of reality. It draws upon concepts from philosophy, computer history, cyberpunk literature, and conspiracy theory. References to real-world technology can be found dotted throughout the series which help to break the fourth wall and engage the audience in the recognizable yet surreal world of SEL. It's important to note that when Serial Experiments Lane was written and produced, the internet was still in its infancy. According to webselect.net, only 9% of households had internet access in 1998, and just 41% of adults were active online. Compare that to the advancements that have happened since, with our increased dependency on the internet and over 90% of households linked up. It's eerie how foreshadowing the anime appears to be. It was definitely ahead of its time, and is perhaps more relevant now than it's ever been. The most glaring takeaway from the series is society's over-reliance on the internet and technology to communicate and exist. It makes us question what reality is. Is a digital existence more or less valid than a physical one? Nowadays, we readily accept the enroachment of newer and more powerful technologies into our lives but rarely stop to think about the consequences anymore. Back then, the internet had only existed for seven years, meaning it was very new and people were more wary and skeptical of it, likely because they didn't fully understand it. The production team of Serial Experiments Lane were heavily influenced by Apple computers in particular, which they were using at the time. For instance, the name of the company that creates the Navi computers in the SEL plot, Tachibana Industries, is a nod to the computer giant named after a fruit. Tachibana in Japanese translates to Mandarin Orange instead. In addition, the Navis use an operating system named Copland, which was the code name for Apple's Mac OS 8, and has a graphical user interface or a GUI similar to that of a Mac OS. At the end of most episodes, the phrase to be continued appears on screen with the word B colored in blue and red. This is a reference to the BOS operating system, developed by computer company B, incorporated in 1991. Their logo was made from the same colors. The OS was built as a multimedia platform that could be used by a sizable population of desktop users, and was viewed at one time as a competitor to classic Mac OS and Microsoft Windows. Comparisons to real-world tech don't stop there either. The series slogan, Close This World, Open The Next, is a reference to the Next Company, founded by Steve Jobs in the late 80s, and purchased by Apple Computers in December 1996. The electronic voice heard saying the episode titles as the Whisper Voice from the Mac OS text-to-speech program. The child's Navi that Lane uses was modeled after the 20th anniversary Macintosh, while the handy Navi used by both Lane and Ari Sue was based off of the Apple Newton, considered the world's first personal digital assistant, or PDA. But what do all of these references mean? Well, by linking the extreme versions of technology seen in the anime to real-world technologies that existed at the time, it mirrors a major plot point of the actual show. The boundaries become blurred, and for the viewer, it makes the dystopian fictional setting of SEL seem more real and feasible. 
it connects us to the wired. This connection is further developed by establishing how such a far-reaching communication network like the wired could be possible. It is based on the Schumann Resonances, a real-world property of the Earth's magnetic field that theoretically allows for uninterrupted, long-distance communications. Once we are open to this idea, it's much easier to sympathize with Lane and to see her and her surroundings as real. And if you think that's all that I have to say about it, you have another thing coming because we have a while. So, make sure to listen in and hit that subscribe button. But now, on to the religion aspect. As Lane matures and gains power within the Wired, her conversations with different versions of herself reveal to us how she feels shunned from the material world. But how is she also afraid to live in the Wired, where she is taken on as almost goddess-like status? The final scenes are particularly heart-wrenching as she erases herself from everyone's memories. She is last seen encountering her oldest and closest friend Alice, who is by then married. Lane promises herself that she and Alice will surely meet again anytime as Lane can literally go and be anywhere she desires between both worlds. One of the questions raised in SEL is whether there is or isn't a god within the Wired. The theme of religion plays its part from the beginning. When Lane first learns about the network from a former fellow student, Chisa, Lane receives a message from Chisa explaining that she is not dead, but has merely abandoned her physical body and flesh, that she is in fact alive deep within the Wired where she has been found the almighty and divine God. The main antagonist of the show, Masami Iri, tries to assume absolute control over the Wired by secretly coding in this ability and uploading his consciousness to the system. He abandons his flesh in an effort to evolve and live eternally as a virtual entity. When he attempts to corrupt Lane in the same way, he encounters resistance so tries to entice her with unconditional love, romance, and when all else fails, he turns to threats and force. He claims to have created Lane, and upon meeting her, claims to be her true god. Likewise, the Knights of the Eastern Calculus can be viewed as Masamune's disciples, that allow him to exist and be that god within the Wired. While Tachibani General Laboratories try to wrestle back control of Protocol 7, is this show's creator warning us that the Wired, or the internet, is akin to a new religion that can be manipulated and corrupted because it certainly feels that way. Serial Experiments Lane, or SEL, is so captivating because much of it is left open to different interpretations. Like the internet itself, it's oversaturated with information. There are ramblings about philosophy, technological terms, conspiracy theories, pseudoscience, and some very weird imagery that is difficult to explain or define. SEL does an incredible job at entertaining its audience while also confusing you and forcing you to think. Its own production team has admitted in interviews that the series was deliberately edgy and mysterious, particularly to American audiences. Producer Yasuyuki Ueda was forced to defend a controversial statement he made in an interview with Anne America, in which he said Lane was a sort of cultural war against American culture and the American sense of values that we, being Japan, adopted after World War II. He later clarified that he created Lane with the same way the Japanese would. Ueda believed that this would result in a war of ideas over the meaning of the anime and result in a new communication between the two cultures. The producer was supposedly disappointed to learn that American audiences ultimately came to hold the same opinions about the anime as the Japanese. However, the show is packed so densely with information that discussions and debates over themes and meanings with it are still popular today. A Blu-ray edition of SEL came out in 2009, and the show aired on US TV again in 2012. While some of the more subtle references may be missed in modern times, the series remains a revolutionary icon and a cult classic. It's essential viewing for fans of the bizarre, emotional, and thought-provoking anime. I highly recommend giving it another watch now that you've had a small peek behind the curtain. How many times have you watched Serial Experiments, Lane? Are there any themes or moments you picked up on that I haven't discussed? I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts, so let me know in the comments. If you found this video interesting, show me some support by leaving a like, and you can subscribe to my channel for more in-depth anime content. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. I've been broken obsessed in my otaku ways, and I will see you lovely people next time. Forgot.